Hello guys and welcome to Montenegro. Welcome to the capital, Podgorica. We are here exploring and we are actually in the center of Podgorica. You wouldn't think this is the capital of a country. It feels more like a town, but if we keep on walking. We should be very near what is called the old town of Podgorica. So we're going to see how it feels, how it looks, but definitely the vibe is very different from other capitals here in Europe. We have arrived here in the center of Podgorica, of the old part of Podgorica. There are like super many teenagers around, I guess school must be out, but we are arriving here at the clock tower. You can see it here through the leaves. I'll try to show it better. Let's go around this kiosk. Actually, let's buy some water. Oh, thank you. Small bottle of water. Thank you. Where are you from? Belgium. Belgium. You're local? Kevin De Bruyne. You don't have a big bottle? No? Okay. I pay for it. It's good. No, no, no. no. Hey, it's all right. No, no, it's How good. much in total? Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Cheers. All right, guys. Let's have a look if we can go up this clock tower. It looks pretty neat and renovated. So far, no entrance. Let's go all around the thing. Ooh. Well, there is a door. I guess it's locked. No, we cannot go up the tower. That's a pity. Let's keep walking here. We have this busier road. We even have a cycling lane in both directions. And we can also see they have a shared step system. But we're not going to use it. We are going to walk as usual. Let's see if we can cross the road here. We have some traffic lights, but they don't seem to be working. Okay, then we just go. We go like this woman. I'm getting quite hungry here. Let's see if we can find something to eat. We have a tobacco shop. That's not what we want. We want something local. What do they have here? You have burek? Burek, ne. No? Yeah. Okay. Maybe here? Yes. Thank you. No burek. So we continue. Guys, I have been seeing burek everywhere during this trip in Albania, in Montenegro. And now, of course, when I really want to burek, I can't seem to find it. But I'm sure. We're walking here, and I'm sure we're going to come across some delicious burek. This place says Pizzeria and Burek Tinica. So they must have Burek. Hello. Hello. You have some delicious Burek? Yes. yes? <laughs> wow. We have. Do you have, uh, what do you have, a cheese, spinach? Uh, it's just with cheese. Okay. We have with potato. Okay. And with meat. And with meat. Yes. Okay, I'm vegetarian, so I will have uh, one with potato and one with cheese, please. Okay. Thank you. Are you a vlogger? Yeah. <laughs> Super. Which one do you want? Oh, uh, the smallest. <laughs> this one here is good. Yes. Yeah. Okay. This is with, with cheese. cheese. Okay, good. This is with potato. Great. Uh, with potato, uh, this one uh -huh. is uh, a whole uh, a brick. Yeah? <laughs> I don't know, so... No, no, tell me. Uh, just one or two? No, one. Okay. I'm just cutting here. Yeah, thank you. To make you wow. more easy. Yeah, yeah, thank you. <laughs> and one with one cheese. cheese. Okay. Oh, it's going to be a lot. What is your name? My name is Eda. Eda? Yes. Oh, thank you, Eda. <laughs> You're so nice. Thank you so much. Where are you from? Belgium. Belgium? Belgium, yeah, Brussels. Uh, what language do you speak? Dutch. Vigit? Yeah. Vigit? No, not German. Ah. Dutch, like in the uh, Netherlands. Ah, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. Are you local? You're from Montenegro? Uh, no. I'm from Brazil. Kosovo. Kosovo, wow. I was in Albania last week. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Do you like it? Yes, yes, super nice, super nice. How much is it? Uh, two euros and uh, ten cents. 
Thank you. Oh, thank you so thank much. You thank you, Anna. Bye-bye. All right, guys, we found our delicious burek. And on top of that, we had the very nice girl, Eda, serving us. This is the main Orthodox temple or church here in Podgorica. You have a lot of mixed religions here. I think Orthodox is the main religion. Let's try to find a seat here to try the delicious burek. I didn't try it yet, but I'm sure it's gonna be delicious. This is like the main entrance and it looks even more impressive than from the other side. Let's take a seat here and try the burek. Bam! Burek down! Okay guys, we're gonna start with the delicious potato burek. This is half of the burek, so you see it's pretty long. And inside we have the potatoes, which is a bit strange to me, like bread with potato. It's like in the same food category, right? But let's give it a try. Mmm. It's delicious. It's pretty heavy, you know, when you're hungry. This is the food you need. Now we're going to try the cheese burek and this whole bag is actually one burek and costs like one euro. And she was so nice to cut it up in little pieces for me. It's actually impossible to eat all of this with one person. So you can actually share a burek with two or three people, especially the cheese one. The cheese one is always very big. The potato one is a bit smaller. This is how it looks. We can see the white cheese on the inside. Mm -mm -mm. I love cheese, guys. Wow. The cheese had such a strong taste. I already have a second piece here to eat. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Eating cheese burek in the sun here in the capital of Montenegro. Beautiful life. This is the Orthodox Church here in Podgorica. You can see people making the cross before entering the church. It says we cannot make a video or a photo. That's a pity. That's all I can show you guys. I don't know why it's not allowed. Let's just enjoy the beautiful gardens and the outside of the church which is very nice as well all right we came here at an entrance towards the park which goes a bit lower and i can see some kind of cafe there let's check out what's going on there seems quite some people are sitting there Wow, guys, this must be the coolest place for a cafe that I have seen. We are under the bridge, we are in the green. And there are super many people here. Wow. This looks like such a hipster place, guys. And we are also right next to the river. Well, I assumed river, but it seems pretty dry now. It is a very inspirational and artistic view. We can go up the stairs here, but I think I want to check out this place first. And look on this side, it looks like a, an old church, but right under the bridge. Now I wonder if they first had the church here and then they put the bridge on top, or it was the opposite. And this looks like a different place. Let's have a look, Carver. I think they're like a painting. Let's have a look in the carver shop. Hello. Hello. Can I make a video here? Is it okay? Thank you. It's actually a, a bookshop. Wow, guys, this is so cool. Let's have a look inside the cafe. Hello. 
This is called Itaka Library Bar. Let's grab a drink. They have all this. Ooh! Little doggy. They have all these cool cocktails. I think I'm gonna go with the Montenegroni. Can I get the Montenegroni? Yes, Thank you. Wow, guys, this looks absolutely amazing. The Montenegroni. Let's have another look what's inside. We have gin, Campari, Martini Rosso, and cold brew coffee. Let's try it out. Oof. That's strong for an early afternoon drink. But it looks really nice. They put some coffee beans in there. We have a little orange. I always love a good Negroni and they give a little twist to it here. All right guys, let's leave this beautiful cafe and let's see if we can walk across the river here. Wow, it's so nice with the lights. What do you think guys? Can we just walk down here? Let's go on a little city adventure. It's pretty crazy that they have this green area right in the center of the capital. I'm totally going off the grid now, guys. I have no idea what I'm doing. I had a little drink. It had alcohol in it. It might have an impact on my decisions. So we are just walking through the dried out river here. According to Google Maps, it's also the shortest road to go to my next place I want to see. If you guys know me, you know I love these little adventures, a bit out of the normal stuff to do. I probably have to add a disclaimer that in no way I am advising you to do the same as I'm doing here. Oh, damn. Ooh, I was almost soaking in the mud, but here it's dry again, so gonna cross under this bridge you can see the people up there cycling I still don't know if I'm gonna make it to the end or if I will have to go all the way back I hope not I hope there will be a way to continue here it's a bit rough but it's doable also my shoes are my running shoes so I kind of came prepared for a lot of walking today there is more water there is actually a river Now the question is, do we try to continue by climbing over some things or we go back and we take the safe route? But it's not really easy to go up here. So to go up around here, I don't even know where I'm gonna end up. I don't know guys. It looks too rough. It looks too rough. I didn't sign up for this. Can we go up here? That's the question. That would be good. Somehow we manage. To go up here we have a lot of trees it looks steep but it looks doable as well you just should get up there here it's very steep though doesn't look the underground is not very stable as well hmm is this stable Ooh. no <laughs> that's not a good idea can this tree hold me that looks okay okay let's try to grab the next one Sorry for the bad angles. I'm like struggling <laughs> to get up here. Okay, we're almost this one maybe. I uh, know it's, it's not strong this one, but we have to try. What did I start here, guys? Walking in the dirt. It looked less steep here, but now that I see it, it looks steep again. I regret it. <laughs> I regret it, but I think I think we're gonna make it step by step. Okay, I'm gonna switch off the camera and try to reach the top. See you guys hopefully from up there. Okay guys, I'm almost up here. Wow. Oh damn. 
I am. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Oh, damn it. Wow. Oh. The mosquitoes have been eating me as well. Wow, there's even a stick. A stick. Wow, guys. That shows what an adventure it was. I'm so happy. I was really afraid to slide down the mountain. And the mosquitoes were eating me, but I didn't care. Because it was like survival instinct. I don't advise anyone doing this. Don't do it. It was very dangerous. If like one of the sticks I was grabbing and holding on to broke, I would have totally fell down and there would have been no one that would find me there, of course. Wow, I have even all kind of stuff in my hair. Let's, let's get it all out. It stopped raining again. The sun is slowly coming back. We can see some more people even seated in the park now. Let's stay on the normal paths now and not go off-road. We are arriving at the King Nicola Monument. We have a guy sleeping here on the bench with a can of beer. Probably had a bit too many drinks. There he is. Kral Nikolai. <clears throat> Down here is the river where I was <laughs> where I was planning to come up from. Worst idea ever. Let's go down these stairs to have a closer look. We have a beautiful old bridge here. And down there is the river without any water again. So my plan was to arrive here basically. Wow, it's really beautiful. We have this old bridge here. We have the river which usually flows into the main river here in Podgorica. We have the people enjoying the water, the sun. The only annoying thing is the sound on the other side. They're cutting some trees or maintaining the greenery. Has to be done, of course. I'm not complaining. Going back up the stairs here. You can see my shadow. Hi, guys. We're doing a good workout today. I don't mind because there's a little breeze. It's the best feeling. Working out being outside and the weather is pretty good and the traffic light is going to turn green right at the moment I'm coming here so perfect all right we have a lot of parks here in Podgorica especially along the river a lot of parks with benches we have these wide lanes we have some ministry buildings we can see the flag of Montenegro and the flag of NATO let's cross here It is a car city, but people are quite friendly when you want to cross the street. Well, you have to be careful because they can be driving quite fast. And when they see you, they will stop for you. If I understand well, then this is the city hall of Podgorica. We have the EU flag, although they're not into the EU. It's also just a general European flag. We have the Montenegro flag. And I guess that's the flag of Podgorica with the white background and the blue line. All the cars are patiently waiting to let me cross. We come here at a fountain and mainly as well, the national stadium of Montenegro. This is the Podgorica city stadium. And it's all surrounded by these cafes and restaurants and all kinds of shops. If I had the time and there would be a game, I would come here to see a game. Unfortunately, I'm not here when the games are going on. So we just have to do it with this a little look from the outside. We can see some paintings saying the loyal boys. The colors are definitely blue and white here in the city of Podgorica. There as well, loyal boys. Those are the supporters of Podgorica.
Wow, we have a dog here playing like a street dog. I think he will try to cross, cross the street. Come on, doggy. Be careful. Okay, but not now. <laughs> not now. I don't want to be the reason why he crossed the street. He got hit by a car. Wow, so playful. That's nice. There are a lot of street dogs in this area of Europe. But they all seem to be pretty chill and nice. We are here at the Millennium Bridge. This is like the newest bridge over the river. And one of the main bridges here in Podgorica. It is very impressive, I have to say. Look at these massive cables on both sides here. Wow. I had seen some pictures online, but I didn't expect it to be this big. We are crossing over the river Moratza, which is laying very deep. I find it very impressive to see, guys. I haven't often. Oh, there it is, our doggy. He was running behind me. Funny dog. Anyway, I was saying, look how deep this river is. You really have the cliffs from the city down to the river. Wow, 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 there he goes. My friend, wow, that energy. I wanna have what he's having. I wanna have the same energy. Crazy dog. Wow, look at that view, guys. We have the river down here. We have the very lush green area around. We have the mountains in the back. We can't even see the top of the mountains because it's up in the clouds. We can see some other bridges. This view is, it's unique. I haven't ever seen this type of view in any other capital. I actually think this is the local club. Buduknost. So it's not called Podgorica, it's called Buduknost. It seems to be quite popular while we try to find a way through the cars here on the sidewalk. This is Buduknost but in uh, Cyrillic letters. Okay guys, all the signs are up that we're going to get some rain here. The birds are flying around. The sky is looking pretty gray. There's no more sun, it's getting even darker. Let's grab a coffee here in uh, Fabrica Coffee. It looks like a cool coffee place. Cheers guys. After all the burek, I am so full. I feel like I need to move and not just walking. I think we're going swimming here in Podgorica. I'm here at the area where all the sports is going on. We can see the sky is still pretty gray and looks like it's going to be like raining but if we're swimming it's not that bad to get wet right it should be an open air pool let's see if we can get in let's have a look so the entry in the afternoon is three euro and then you can swim from two till seven hello can i go swimming here yes one person Paid 250, which is even cheaper than what's shown. Thank you. Just go in here? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Just here? Thank you. And then I go here? No, I'm Oh, okay. <laughs> Many people here. Thank you. <laughs> I go in here somewhere? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, this way, please. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> man, I'm a man. Man, you're a man now. No, I'm a man. <laughs> no, I'm not. A I know, I know. Yes. And that way. Okay, great. 
guys, that's the funniest lady. So friendly. Uh, let's find the outdoor pool now. Wow. I'm ready to swim. Ooh. Damn. We have a lot of place to swim. This is amazing. Wow. Okay guys, I'm like halfway my little workout here. And the pool is completely empty. It's all for myself. It's actually a bit like a little stadium. We have these seats all around. We even have some kind of sky boxes up there. So, and there we have the flag of Montenegro, this building, which makes it quite impressive. You also have the mountains in the back there. And we have some more people arriving now with the kids. So yeah, maybe we can, uh, we can dive in together. Let's do it. It's pretty deep, guys. I hope you can swim. There we go. How cool is this, guys? It's amazing, right? I love swimming in general, but swimming in a place like this outside with this view it's amazing and it's healthy here you can see the pool i just cut out totally relaxed now after swimming absolutely love swimming and it's so relaxing for the muscles and it's actually raining right now so we're gonna head back i'm going to end the video here thank you guys for watching i hope I showed you what to do here in Podgorica. I'm going to leave you guys here with this beautiful view on this building with the flag and the mountain. See you guys next time. Ciao!